In the complex and multifaceted world of construction, time is a critical factor. Projects are often subject to strict deadlines, and delays can cause significant financial and operational impacts. To manage these challenges, construction contracts frequently include provisions for extensions of time, or EOT. In this video, we'll explore what EOTs are, how they are raised, and how they are administered. What is an extension of time? An extension of time is a contractual mechanism that allows for the adjustment of the completion date of a construction project. It is a formal process provided within construction contracts to account for delays that are beyond the control of the contractor. The primary purpose of an EOT is to provide a fair and equitable means to manage delays, ensuring that contractors are not unfairly penalised for circumstances beyond their control. EOTs are crucial in maintaining the balance of risk between the contractor and the client. Without EOT provisions, contractors would face significant risks from delays, which could lead to disputes, increased costs, and potential breaches of contracts. By incorporating EOT clauses, contracts can provide a structured process to handle unforeseen delays, thereby maintaining the project's integrity and timelines. So, how are EOTs raised? Raising an EOT involves several steps. These are outlined in your contract. However, here's a general process. Number one, notification of delay. The contractor must notify the client or project manager of a delay as soon as it becomes apparent. This notification should include details about the nature and cause of delay. Number two, submission of EOT claim. Following the initial notification, the contractor must submit a formal EOT claim. This claim should include detailed information about the delay, including the start and end dates of the delay, the impact on the project program, and any supporting documentation. It is also important to quote any contractual clauses that relate to your EOT. Number three, review and assessment. The client or project manager reviews the EOT claim to determine its validity. This process may involve consultation with relevant stakeholders, review of project records, and sometimes an independent assessment. And number four, approval or rejection. Based on the review, the EOT claim is either approved or rejected. If approved, the project program is adjusted accordingly. If rejected, the contractor may have the option to dispute the decision depending on the contract terms. Administering EOTs involves a structured approach to ensure transparency and fairness. Key steps include number one, documentation and record keeping. Maintaining accurate and detailed records is essential for administering EOTs. This includes documenting the original project schedule, progress reports, weather logs, communication records, and any other relevant information. Proper documentation helps substantiate EOT claims and provides a clear basis for decision making. Number two, transparent communication. Effective communication between all parties is critical. Regular updates and open communication channels help prevent misunderstandings and facilitate timely resolution of EOT claims. Both the contractor and the client should be proactive in discussing potential delays and their impacts. Number three, independent assessment. In some cases, an independent assessment may be necessary to evaluate an EOT claim objectively. This can involve third-party experts who assess the delay causes and impacts, providing an unbiased perspective that aids in fair decision-making. Number four, adjusting the project program. Once an EOT is approved, the project program must be updated to reflect the new completion date. This involves revising timelines, milestones, and possibly adjusting resource allocations to ensure the project remains on track. And number five, dispute resolution. Disputes over EOT claims are not uncommon. Contracts often include provisions for dispute resolution, such as mediation, arbitration, or litigation. Having clear procedures in place help manage and resolve disputes efficiently, minimizing impacts on the project. Extensions of time are vital in managing delays in construction projects. By providing a formal mechanism to adjust completion dates, EOTs help balance risk, maintain project integrity, and ensure fairness for all parties involved. Understanding the process of raising and administering EOTs is crucial for successful project management and minimizing the adverse effects of unforeseen delays. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.